been debating all day whether I should play the music or not. You know, should I be professional and not play it? Or be should professional? I be, Are you going to start now? Be myself and be totally juvenile and play it. So guess which side of me won. My guy. Bringing in a fantastic recruiting class. Having to deal with idiots for peers as head coaches in this conference. What's he been on the job? A month and a half? Yep. And still has a great class coming in, even with a bowl ban. Uh, our guy, new Buckeye head coach, Urban Meyer, joins us. Coach, good to talk to you. Good to visit with you guys. Let's talk about this recruiting class that you went out and get. And, you know, obviously everything is subjective at this point. We're looking at star rankings. But, you know, impressive that you've been on the job a month and a half and you're able to go and with your staff and get this quality class. Are you even surprised yourself a little bit? I, I am a little bit. I, I think the two areas where, you know, when you set out and said these are the two top tackles that you'd like to have in your program and you get them, and then you look at your three defensive ends, those are the two areas that you're like, you know, that, that I don't want to say did it really happen because it did. Uh, and then the fact that uh, the linebacker area, that which we really struggled at last year in depth and numbers uh, to go out and get the guys we got. So, um, you know, it, it all. You never know what you get till they get here. I mean, you might. It might be a bad batch. It might be a good batch. We're hoping, and we. The only thing I'm worried about, we didn't have enough time to do all our homework, and but on paper and from what I know about these guys, we're real excited to get them here. Well, you mentioned the time aspect. What was the main message that you told recruits recruits to get them to come to Ohio State? It's the same message. We, you know, the, the reason you would ever select a school like first of all, it's one of the most powerful alumni bases in America. That's that's number one, and the quality of education, and you will graduate. The APR here, the graduation rates are incredible. The support system, you will compete for a championship. We have a track record. Our coaching staff, myself, and then also this great university and great football program has a uh, reputation and track record. And then the final shot: if you are blessed enough and you have a dream of playing football for a living. We can get you where you want to get. That was the central message. Was Number one was academics. Number two was championships. And number three was opportunity to go on and play at the next level. Urban Meyer joining us here on The Fan. You know college football's changed. It used to be you know, 25 years ago. Once in a blue moon, you had a true freshman come in and contribute on the football field. But it seems like it happens every single year now. And I read some comments from you saying that there are guys in this class that you can see playing a big role on Saturdays. Well, we changed about about two, three years into my uh, tenure at Florida. We changed our whole philosophy, and that was there are no red shirts. We and that we're going to do the same thing here. We're not red shirting players. Uh, if you're not good enough, you won't play. But every freshman, and the way we recruit, the way we develop, the way we work these guys, we're developing them to get ready to play right now. Because who knows what's down the road? Shoot, a lot of these guys will leave after the third year if you do a good job recruiting. And so we have to get them ready, and we're not going to recruit a kid that we're going to say, hey, maybe he'll be ready in two years. There's another one out there somewhere that's ready right now. So we're going to re recruit with the intent to get them on the field right now. There's no red shirting, and we're moving forward. Now, you know, there are going to be some guys red shirt, but that's just because they weren't good enough to play, not because we're holding them back. Well, you've you got a situation where you're going to have a lot of position battles on this team with a, with a new coaching staff and a new head coach. Does everyone have a clean slate, and are a lot of positions up for grabs? It's all open. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, Luke Fickles is going to run the defense, so he's got some ideas in his mind, and I've asked him. And, you know, Mike Vrabel and Stan Drayton, the three guys left over that I'm going to ask you, you know, every every young guy maybe doesn't start his career the right way. And what an opportunity for, you know, a few of those guys to push the redo button, uh, restart. And then some of the guys you can tell they're doing it. You know, academically I'm seeing some progress with a couple guys. Uh, and then in the weight room, and you can tell there's some urgency because they're getting a fresh start, and I want them to – have that opportunity, and it's easier to do with the new new staff. I just I'm really pushing that with the old coaches that let these guys you know try to get out of your mind what they've done. Let's let's let them restart and see how they go. Urban Meyer joining us here on the fan. Sticking with the recruiting class, how much does it aggravate you when you watch Sports Center, you read in the paper that you've got some of your peers alluding to the fact that you are you and your staff are breaking the rules to get these kids? How much does that aggravate you, Coach? I mean, probably as aggravating as anything of, in, in your, because your 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 manhood, your integrity is being challenged, and absolutely when it's incorrect. I mean, there's absolutely no truth, zero truth to any of the conversation that I've read. And my 
my concern is why, what is that doing in the media? And first of all, why is that name, my name or this university's name associated with so angry, mad, and all those terms probably aren't strong enough. Uh, however, we've moved on. You know, we, there is a discussion. Uh, I have no ill will towards anyone. We're moving on, moving forward. But the, you asked a question, and the answer was about as angry as you can get. I mean, that, that's, that's, that, that shouldn't be, a, you know, there should be some kind of penalty for that. Yeah, speaking of which, and I was going to follow up, there should be a penalty. Did Jim Delaney or the Big Ten office say to any of the coaches, hey, there will be fines or penalties if you continue to do stuff like that? I don't want to give what was said in meetings because that's not my business, but uh, you know, I would anticipate that those things would happen again. And you know, I, I just think I really like after that meeting, I have a lot of respect for a lot of people in that room uh, in the Big Ten Conference. I had it before. I even more so have it now. And I'm talking about the other coaches and and certainly our administration of the conference. Urban Meyer joining us here on The Fan. There's been some talk the last couple of days that the Big Ten is, is working to come up with some sort of college football playoff. We used to talk about as fans, you know, wouldn't it be great if there were a playoff? Now it looks like it's going to happen. Are you in favor of something like that? The, the first time I heard whether it was our commissioner to talk to our coaches, and, you know, he's a very smart guy that's very experienced and. He thinks that what I like best about Jim Delaney in my short time in knowing him, first of all, he's very honest. It's he's going to say what's on his mind, and I really respect the guy that does that. Second of all, he thinks outside the box. He's a creative thinker. He's, uh, and I, I, I just really admire him. And uh, uh, I just think when he's when he starts speaking, I know I was watching the room, including myself. You're locked in on him because he knows what he's talking about. And so I, I think if there's you know if he can get together and it's the right thing to do, I have a lot of faith and trust in him, and we'll do the right thing. I wanted to ask you about the spring game. You know it's absolutely huge here. You get 90,000, 95,000 people to see it. Every coach does it different. Some people have situational football offense versus defense. How does Urban Meyer want to run his spring game? Well, if we have the personnel, we'll draft it. And, we, you know, the one thing that is priceless at a place like Ohio State is the fact you get to see a kid perform in the arena in front of a lot of eyes. Because sometimes players are very good practice players, but when they get in a heated situation with – they, they lock up a little bit, especially young players, and you can evaluate that. So we will try to do a game, uh, a, a actual game with a winner loser at the end of the day. Uh, obviously, when you're if you're offensive line, that's the one area that's usually uh, banged up. If we can't do that, then we'll have to make some decisions. But as of now, we'll have a game. Coach, before we let you go, the, the way I'm most impressed with you is not the recruiting class, none of this other stuff. It's the fact that you survived a year traveling the country with Chris Spielman. That is an achievement, my friend. Yeah, I've learned a lot of things uh, <laughs> you know, about a guy that every – well, I used to make fun of him. Every 17th minute, he has to eat something. I mean, he's got a I – mean, he's a – High-maintenance guy that is a dear friend. I love him. Today. I have worked with him for a long time. I traveled with him. Did he have you eating off discarded room service trays like he had me eating off him? Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. All I right. Did you see him doing that. it, though? Because he's a hillbilly. He'll do it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> beef jerky. Enjoys the beef jerky, too. Oh, sure does. <laughs> Coach, we appreciate it. We'll talk more as the uh, off season goes on. We appreciate your time. Have a great day. Buckeye football head coach Urban Meyer joins us on the Frontier Communications Fan Hotline.